so that is basically how nutrients get spread out uh, in the forest garden so that again is why it's low input is that I'm not having to do that mm -hmm. I'm not having to make compost and put it round trees that have a you know a, big fertility demand, basically the system is doing it for me. Did you bring fungi? Did you inoculate fungi into the soil? Uh, I inoculated most of my trees before I planted them, the roots. You can, uh, with, with these kind of fungi, called mycorrhizal fungi, you can, uh, you can buy in commercial preparations. I mean, root grow is quite well known one now. Um, uh, and you can you can either sprinkle that in planting holes. It's, it contains the spores of the right species, or you can make a root, uh, you know a dip in a bucket with it and dip roots in and then plant them out. So, um, uh, you know that can certainly be worth doing. If you do nothing, of course, the fungi will turn up in time. It's, you know they'll be around. They'll be in forests anyway. Um, but you might have five a five or ten year gap before they start to inoculate everything well. So. Uh, I think it's probably worth the extra investment to, to uh, make sure that uh, the right fungi are there from the word go. Is there any research into whether they're sensitive to uh, pH, soil pH? I mean, will they how do you know whether they, they've died or will they definitely take in all the soil? Um, well, the, um, the commercial preparations contain spores from about 20 species. So that covers a big range of soil types uh, and also tree types. So. Uh, with using that, you're pretty sure that it'll work.